There is a looming global shortage of helium and the stuff is not just used for party balloons. It's important for making microchips, fiber optic cables, uh, even as a coolant apparently for Bitcoin mines. Now, a company operating in Saskatchewan, Royal Helium, says it has made a promising discovery of a helium charged zone. Uh, we're joined now by the CEO of Royal Helium, Andrew Davidson. Andrew, thanks very much for coming on the show. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for your time. So helium is an element. Um, they're not making it anymore. Um, and it's so <laughs> light, it tends to float off into space. Um, so the way we get this important gas, it's trapped in the Earth's crust. So it, there's no other way of getting it, is there? No, that, that's correct. So it, it's generated down in the Earth's crust from the decay of uranium and thorium, which uh, is the only way to create it, frankly. And it's uh, why Saskatchewan is a very interesting jurisdiction to look for it, uh, given the elevated uranium and, and thorium levels we have here in the province. So the, the issue is generally one of, of leakage, where, where helium's created, it escapes the Precambrian basement and moves up to the geological column and out to outer space. So it, it's it's... It's very abundant. It's one of the most abundant elements in uh, in the universe, but uh, exceptionally rare mm -hmm. to capture uh, at scale here. Now, traditionally, it's been a byproduct of the oil and gas industry, as far as I know. But you're sort of sp you're looking for specific helium helium yeah. assets, specific rocks with helium. Yeah, that, that's correct. Globally, it is produced. Uh, essentially universally. It's a byproduct of natural gas. Um, we, we have a, a unique situation in Saskatchewan where we have a formation at depth that acts as a trap for helium as soon as it's released from the Precambrian basement. And that's not that's not replicated anywhere else in the world that we've seen. So it, huh. uh, we are drilling pure helium wells, uh, looking for helium as the primary target. Uh, every now and then you come across the methane in that process or some other associated gases, but helium is the target. And uh, Saskatchewan appears to be the only place on the planet you can do that. So it works so well here you given also, that there is a... Sorry. No, no, please, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead, Andrew. Oh, sure. It works so well here in Saskatchewan given the, the well-developed oil and gas fields that we have. Uh, we have all the technology and service providers we need uh, to get drilling here. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of companies around that can do that. Yeah. Now, you also found yeah. a bit of hydrogen um, yeah. and a bit of methane, but it, and the hydrogen. I see one analyst saying could count as green hydrogen. So it's in it's just in the in the earth. Is that a big part of the value, or is helium overwhelmingly the 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 thing that will really give you revenue? Yeah, he helium is the overwhelming uh, revenue driver for the company. There is a market for all of the other yeah. associated gases, be it you know, hydrogen or, or nitrogen or, or even CO2. Uh, the, the hydrogen was a surprise find. Uh, we've, we certainly weren't expecting to see it in that sort of quantity down at that depth. I mean, these, these wells go down 2,600 meters or right above the Precambrian basement. Um, so it was a very interesting find. We're, we're going to work on, on how we monetize that aspect of it, but it will purely be... Uh, gravy on top of, of the helium project. Now, the Americans had or have, yeah, they have a national helium reserve. And as far as I know, they've been selling that off at pretty low prices. What's the story on that? Is that U.S. reserve nearly exhausted? Yeah, so that's the strategic helium reserve in the U.S. And, and traditionally, it's been the largest sales point for helium uh, in the world. Uh, they started phasing that out in 2013, and, and 2018 was, in fact, the last public auction of, of helium lots out of that storage cavern. And, and the sales stopped simply because they could not recharge the supply uh, uh, on as quick a, a level as they needed to. Again, principally because the, the helium source is coming from conventional natural gas wells uh, in the U.S., Mm -hmm. And as the economics of natural gas projects, specifically conventional natural gas projects, fell, uh, so too did, did helium production. So they've, they've ceased sales from there, leaving a, a large gap in the market. Uh, BLM sales accounted for as much as 20% of, of global sales. Uh, now we're, we're faced with the, the challenge of replacing that, and that's, that's what we're trying to do here at Royal. It's amazing stuff, isn't it? Apparently it stays liquid right down to absolute zero. So it's just wonderful for cooling things. It, it is, it's, uh, it's the best supercoolant in, in the world. Um, 
its properties are completely unique and, and interestingly enough, its principal value is, is in the fact that it is completely inert. It will not react with anything. Um, that's how it's used in, in rocketry, for example, and in high-tech manufacturing. Uh, but the fact that it will not do anything is what gives it the value. Now, you just raised money. Um, you sold 30 yep. million units at 50 cents each. You raised 15 million. You actually increased the size of the financing. So will that, so not bad, $15 million. What will you do with that money? How long will that keep you going? Yeah, that, that'll last us for the next 12 months and it'll allow us to, to further develop this field. We intend to be, to have wells on production here in calendar of 2021 and, and start the cash flow process. But with, with those funds, we are gonna set the drilling uh, about another 10 wells uh, in Saskatchewan, looking to further increase the resource size from what we found uh, and spread it uh, mm -hmm. across the province. We have, you know, with a million acres of, of helium rights here in Saskatchewan, we've got a, we've got a large development path and uh, split relatively evenly between the Southwest and the Southeast. So we're going to drill a few more infill production wells at our initial project area, and then we're going to step out to the other side of the province to define a resource on that side as well. Are you actually selling helium yet? Or, I mean, are you producing commercial quantities? No. We're not selling yet. We just finished the, the initial three wells, and we're, we're in the process now of, of finding our partner on the processing side, uh, and that will include a long-term offtake agreement to sell the gas to them. Um, that's how it works in the helium industry, at least on, on the smaller scale. Uh, you partner up with a group who has expertise on the, on the processing side, and they take over that processing and marketing risk directly and, and buy helium from us directly at the well.